Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect Outlook to Notion the easy way. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a seamless automation setup so that your emails, events, or whatever you choose from Outlook will automatically make their way into Notion, keeping everything organized and connected. Whether you're trying to track work projects or just tidy up your digital life, this connection is going to save you so much time and hassle. Let's dive right in. No complicated coding or confusing setup required. We're going to be using Zapier for this, which is basically a bridge that links apps together so they can talk to each other behind the scenes. First things first, head over to Zapier in your web browser. If you've never used Zapier before, don't worry. It's designed to be user-friendly, even for beginners. Once you're on Zapier's site, look for a button called Create. It's usually up at the top or center. It's hard to miss. Click that and then choose Zap. In Zapier's world, a zap is just an automation. Think of it like a little robot that does a job for you every time something happens. For example, when a new email lands in Outlook, the zap can grab it and send the information to Notion automatically. Now, to make things super easy, Zapier has a built-in feature called Copilot. Instead of manually picking everything step by step, you can just tell Copilot what you want to do, almost like you're chatting with a helpful assistant. Type in Connect Outlook to Notion. Zapier will generate the automation for you based on this input, saving you time and making sure you get the setup right. If you're not sure what to type, just keep it simple. Copilot understands common phrases and tasks. When Zapier creates the automation, you'll see some steps called actions that need to be set up. This is where you'll connect your Outlook account. Nah. Just click on the area that says it's waiting for you to log in and sign in with your Outlook credentials. Sometimes it takes a minute or two, especially if Outlook wants to double check it's really you with a verification code. Don't worry, this is normal and it's just for security. Once Outlook is set, it's time to connect Notion. The process is very similar. You'll click to connect, sign in, and authorize Zapier to access your Notion workspace. If you're using Notion at work or with a team, make sure you're logged into the correct account. This step allows Zapier to send your Outlook data into your Notion pages or databases, so it's definitely important to get it right. After you've connected both accounts, you're almost there. All that's left is to review your automation. It's a good idea to double check that the right triggers and actions are selected. For example, maybe you want emails with a certain label or calendar events from Outlook to go to a specific Notion page. Making sure this is set up correctly will help avoid surprises later on. Finally, you just need to publish the automation. Look for the Publish button. When you click it, your zap goes live. From here on out, Zapier will handle the rest. You don't even have to keep this window open. The integration works quietly in the background, and that's it. You've just set up Outlook to Notion automation, turning what could be a complicated chore into a smooth, time-saving workflow. If a step didn't work quite right, don't worry. It sometimes takes a few tries or a quick refresh. If you get stuck or want to customize things further, drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, Hit that like button and let me know in the comments if there's another automation you'd love to learn. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more easy, actionable tech tutorials. See you in the next video.